Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I thought we'd do today is something a little different than I normally do on video. I've had hundreds and hundreds of questions over the last couple of years about showing someone how to throw a knife on video. And I've done a tomahawk throwing video, at least one and maybe shown it in a couple other ones, um, maybe for my television series Pathfinder Outdoor Journal as well. I'm not a big fan of throwing knives and throwing tomahawks mm -hmm in a real scenario because you're throwing away or taking a chance on losing a critical tool and in my opinion that's not the best methodology but I can show you how to throw a knife I know how to throw a knife and I'll show you that today but the other thing that I wanted to talk about was you know I see lots of guys who love to carry big knives on their hip into the woods for lots of things as a one tool option from you know processing wood to chopping tasks on small trees and things like that in lieu of carrying an axe and if that's what you're comfortable with there's nothing wrong with that so what i wanted to show you today was this is the jeff white throwing knife and it has about a 10 inch blade on it and that's just a guess because i didn't bring a tape measure out here but i'm guessing it's about a 10 inch blade it's a quarter inch piece of 1095 high carbon steel with the scales are nothing but slabs of leather that have been riveted into the handle. It's got a clip point design with a convex grind, and I don't think there's any way you could possibly ever destroy this tool. And the retail on this thing is like 40 bucks. That's without a sheath, but it wouldn't be difficult to make a sheath for this knife. And for 40 bucks for something you could just hang on to and forget it, and you're never ever gonna have to worry about destroying it or tearing it up, it's probably worth 40 bucks for sure. I've been playing with this one quite a bit on and off um, lately just to see what it will do and what its capabilities really are. And I thought what I'd do today is I would show you how to throw this knife since it is designed for throwing. So stay with me. Okay, so, what's the trick? There's no trick. It's only a matter of judging distance. When you first start throwing a knife, you should be throwing at about three to three and a half paces from your target. One, two, three, four. Turn around, step in. One, two, three steps right to the tree. One, two, three, remember you step forward, take a fourth step. Almost not enough rotation. That knife almost didn't rotate it far enough around. One, two, three, four, turn around, step in. One, two, three. Checking myself every time. One, two, three, four, turn around, step in. One, two, three to the tree. One, two, three, four, turn around, step in. One, two, three. That's how you practice. You understand how far away you are, and you get to where you can judge that distance just by walking up to that spot and knowing about where that spot's at. And once you figured that out, then you should be able to walk away without counting turn around, step in, and throw it in. Once you get to that point where you can turn around and walk away from the target a couple of times and throw it and stick it, then you want to walk completely away from everything and walk around in a circle away from the target and come back in from the back side like I am behind the camera and walk up and just walk in and throw. Practice that a few times. Walk all the way around. Around a couple trees, around the bend a couple times. 
out of the way, come back in, walk toward the tree, figure out where you're going to throw from, and throw. As you walk in, you're throwing. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little lesson on how to throw a knife today. And remember, you're really not trying to throw this thing from a mile away. Four steps, that's 12 feet. That's pretty far away from an animal or a human that's trying to attack you if you decided you were going to throw your blade. And again, last time I'll say this, I do not advocate necessarily throwing a knife or throwing a tomahawk because you have to be very sure of yourself and very accurate with the tool to make sure that you're not going to lose it and it's going to do the desired damage because once it leaves your hand, you have no control over it anymore. I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything that you do for my school, for my family, for my business, for all of my sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. Check out the Jeff White Throwing Knife, $39.99 I believe it is, at selfreliancetoutfitters.com. Thanks guys.